Let's settle in. Arriving together here for day six. Cannot believe it's already day six. So grateful to you for your practices and for being here. I'm going to call the theme of today, holding steady. And so many of us have been here each day holding steady already. And so this will be a deepening of that. And my hope is that as the words I'm going to share with you today land with you, they can be an anchor for whatever you might be moving through in this moment or this time of your life. So let's arrive and just take some breaths as we arrive here, allowing our bodies to sink and settle in with each exhale. Mm -hmm. Welcoming any sighs that want to move through as well. Feeling the way gravity is helping so that we can become more weighted and connected to the support of the earth as we continue to arrive here together. I've been thinking a lot over the last 20 years about how the very act of presence is love. So often we can get caught up in not doing enough in our practices, in our life as we're moving through. And when we can train our minds just enough to turn towards our bodies and our experiences we're having with just presence, just awareness, that that can translate as love. And that can be more than enough. And so we can hold that here with all of these practices we're moving through together that this very act of presence is love. Our bodies are always calling in different ways for our care and our curiosity. And so when we can take that moment and slow down and allow our awareness and our presence to include whatever is happening here, that's love and that is enough. Here today and every day, we are learning to be accepting of our humanity, our wholeness, and the full spectrum of what it means to be alive. And we tend to suffer, you may have noticed, when we push away what we don't want and don't like and cling to what we want more of. It's natural. It's part of this human experience. And we are tending to the pains that call us awake at night. And the whispers of hope that pull us forward into life again and again. Let's be with a few gentle breaths. And just meeting any edges with softness right now, creating a little space for all parts of us that are here. And if it feels supportive, you can bring a hand to your heart or belly, welcoming softness. Recently, I watched the river wind past me as it kept traveling 
on through, through canyons and changing landscapes. As I sat with an ache in my heart that has been there as long as I have known. And the ache was fierce as I reached outside of myself for soothing, wishing for someone or something to make it change. And then something awoke in me. Something was remembered. And I wish this for all of us. I turned toward the pain. Just maybe by a sheer act of will, but probably having practiced this so many times as we're practicing here together. And I turned towards this pain as I would turn towards a hurting child and sat unmoving and willing to sit there as long as it would take. And as I came awake to what I was experiencing, I knew I was no longer hating this pain, this ache that had been with me for what seemed like forever. I knew that I had now become a friend to this pain. And in that realization, my heart just naturally widened at the, at this, at the awe of it. <laughs> And a new aliveness filled my chest and bones and the kind of tears came when you know that something has been healing and something has healed. I think so often we think that healing means things feel good all of the time and that we're doing something wrong if they don't. And so I share this with you to remember that the full spectrum of humanity includes these pains. And so our work here is not to fix ourselves or make our pains go away. It's to learn together, to embrace them from the parts of us that do care deeply. The parts that have always been here and have sometimes been covered up. And they're here right now. Life is pouring through us like that river and asking us to be lived. Moving through like sand and stone. Falling and pooling in swirls and stillness. Moving through seasons, hot, cold, rain snow, drought and overflow. This is us. We are the river and we are the banks of the river. When we can make space for what is showing up within us, just like we are here now, our sensations, our emotions, our thoughts, desires, hatreds, and we make space from that part that can care deeply, even with just a little warmth, we are empowered and we become free. And there are days when we cannot find that warmth. There are plenty of days. A phrase that we looked at yesterday that I love to continue to carry forward that helped me in moments like this is I love myself for feeling whatever it is. In this case, for me, it would be I love myself for feeling or I love myself for not knowing how to move through this right now. I love myself for wishing someone would come help me and hold me. I love myself for not liking this. You get the idea. And there are two arrows. There are the arrows of pain, the first arrow of pain and the second arrow of suffering. And we feel the pain and we shoot that second arrow so often unconsciously 
of judgment or fear or doubt or criticism or control? How could we not? That's what we did to survive. My question for us today, though, is what if that second arrow could be gentleness and understanding? What possibilities might be here? And one day, we just stop hating what we're feeling and make space and allow it and love it anyways. And we know from the depths of our souls that we are not problems to be fixed or figured out and that we are whole. And there's no way to force that moment. It just happens with enough returning home again and again feeling safe enough to stay a while. And for me, honestly, it took decades. <laughs> and for you, I hope it's shorter. But either way, we're on this path together. This is how we come awake. No positive emotions, no negative emotions, just unpleasant, pleasant, and neither and learning how to meet ourselves with warmth exactly where we are. So let's take a moment, and I love to share with you what I call a vagal hold. And I use this in moments where things are so overwhelming, when the storms are just raging and I have no sense of resource in the present moment. And we, you can do it so quick and it feels like a hug for most people. And we can all take our right hand and place it underneath our left armpit. And then wrap your left hand around and squeeze that right arm right there around the bicep. We'll hang out here together for about five breaths. And just see how your body experiences this. And it's the right hand under the left armpit and the left arm wrapped back around the front, squeezing that right bicep. You can squeeze with a lot of pressure or just lightly play with it. Maybe something happens, maybe nothing. And this communicates to our vagal nerve that there's some safety here in this moment and helps bring our heart to a steady pace and our breath to a steady pace. With these last couple of breaths here, maybe letting an intention find you as we deepen into our practice today, what would you love to have happen? And allow your arms to rest down and become aware of any settling or space that may have happened there, if any. And now let's allow ourselves to rest into a posture that's maybe even more comfortable. Sit, stand, lie down. 
And whatever helps you feel most present today. And we'll be welcoming our steadiness amidst all the storms. Allowing our bodies to shift and widen and become heavy and held with each exhale. And with each breath, we feel the way the breath is whispering to us, wake up, wake up, wake up. I am here. And then we can call on the mountain as we experience our bodies here together in this moment. Imagining the base of our bodies, our hips and legs and feet are the base of that mountain, the foundation. And our torsos and arms and head all rest upon the base of our bodies. They're where the trees live and the weather comes and goes. Fluid and flexible, yet resting upon a solid foundation. Breathing now as the mountain with a natural breath. All parts are welcome here. Inviting softness and comfort as we're here sitting as the mountain. Or lying or standing, whatever posture your body is taking in this moment. And when we're as big and 
steady as a mountain. There's space for it all. And we welcome any pain. And let it emerge if it wants to. Meet it with care. And we welcome any joy or pleasure, ease. We meet it with the same care. It's just like the clouds passing by or the river flowing down, always moving through. Allowing your bones to be here as part of this foundation. Our bones made of earth, earth made of bones. We are not separate. Our structures hang around our bones. And we welcome our hearts here. It's the steadiness of each heartbeat. Our hearts that keep beating on and on, no matter what we're doing or if we're listening. You might even feel your heartbeat as the heartbeat of that mountain, not separate. And if you feel called to, you can whisper to yourself the words, I'll use my name and you can put your name in there. But I would say, stay steady, Shelby, in the sweetest tone that I can find. Stay steady.
And with the steadiness of this mountain, we allow for ease and rest here. There's so much space for it all. And then we'll rest together in a healing silence here for a minute. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. No one to be. And as you feel ready, you can shift and staying connected to anything that feels supportive, soothed, or spacious today. And you're welcome to continue to be with this mountain for as long as you like. Or you can follow the sound of my voice to come more fully into the day. And as we end here today, you're welcome to write in the chat a word or a phrase that anchors you and us together into this experience. Mm -hmm. Spaciousness, soothed, yeah, calming, brief. Yeah, peace, spacious, healing, high five hands, like the flowing river, allowing it through, yeah, heartful, look at all these, joy and grief and steadiness, I'm here, I'm here with you, being with what is, I am enough, you are enough, I am so touched by your presence, and your willingness. Thank you for allowing me to guide you and be with you. Thank you for allowing me to walk this path with you today. And thank you for giving yourself this precious, precious time. Have a beautiful rest of your day.